Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you step by step how to value a stock to determine whether it's a buy or a sell. At the end of the video, we're going to look at the financial ratios. Leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer. The company we're going to look at is Medical Properties Trust. This is a REIT that invests in healthcare facilities subject to triple N leases. The company owns properties in the US, Australia, Germany, Italy, Spain, Switzerland, and the UK. Let's get started with the model. This company has a market cap of $9.8 billion. That's how much it's worth according to the stock market. And it's trading at $18.57 a share. It's a little under $19. And the way you value a company is you estimate the future free cash flows and then discount that back to today's dollars. That's what I'm doing in this video. Now I'm going to pull their actual free cash flow. Free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. We also need the net income which is a profit and loss on the income statement. And then the revenue which is the sales on the income statement. We also want to look at the numbers. So everything looks positive and consistent. Their uh, revenue seems to be growing each year which is good and their profit margins are pretty solid. One year they had a 130% profit margin. Not sure how that happened. They had more net income than revenue. Let's look at a capital structure. Let's see how much interest they pay on their debt. 237 million. Let's see how much debt they have. We'll go to the balance sheet. Go to liability section. Long term debt of $7 billion. They pay 3.4% interest on their debt. And now let's get the beta. That's how volatile the stock is relative to the market. And they have a low beta, 0.68. So the stock moves less than the market. Let's go back to the balance sheet, get their current assets. We need the current assets to calculate the current ratio later. Current assets of 2.5 billion. That's a 1.5 billion of cash, 365 million of net receivables. This is how much money other companies owe this company. Let's get their current liabilities, 291 million. And their stockholders equity, that's 7 billion. That's the value of the company according to the balance sheet. That's 518,000 of common stock, 83 million of retain earnings. So most REITs don't have positive retained earnings, so they're operating profitably after they pay their dividends. An accumulated other comprehensive income of negative 63 million. Their operating income is 581 million. Let's look at a capital structure. 50% debt, cost of debt is 3.4%. 50% equity, cost of equity is 7.5%. And the WAC is 5.5%, which is a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity. And that's a discount rate we're going to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. That's up here in blue. We also estimated terminal value, which is all cash flows past year four. It's $11.3 billion. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. That's here in green. We get a value of the company of $11 billion. We divide that by 528 million shares. We get a calculated stock price of $21. It's trading at $19, so it's trading at 12% discount. So it's a buy according to the model. Let's see what Simply Wall Street says. They're even higher, $36 a share. Let's see where it's been trading the stock. So it looks like it peaked around $23 a share or so before coronavirus. Then it dropped quite a bit, but it's come up a little bit. So it seems like a good stock. Let's look at the financial ratios. They have a bad price to earnings, price to sales, but a good price to book. PE is stock price over earnings per share. To calculate earnings per share, that's net income over shares outstanding. I like to see below 15, they're at 26.2. So investors are paying $26 for $1 of earnings. Price to sales is stock price over sales per share. To calculate sales per share, that's revenue or shares outstanding. I like to see below 2.5, they're at 11.5. So investors are paying $11.50 for $1 of revenue. Price to book is stock price over book value per share. 
To calculate book value per share, that's equity over shares outstanding. I like to see below 3.5, they're at 1.4. So investors are paying $1.40 for $1 book value. Really high current ratio, good interest coverage ratio, and a low ROE. Current ratio is current assets over current liabilities. So they have way more current assets than they need. ROE is net income over equity. I like to see above 20%, they're only at 5%. Interest coverage ratio is EBIT over interest expense. I like to see above two, there are 2.4. The best way to look at ratios is to compare them to similar companies. I've done videos on LTC, National Health Investors, and Omega. And he has medical properties. And if they have a number in red, they're worse than the average. If they're in green, they're better than the average. So a good ratio to look at when valuing a read is price over funds from operations per share. And the lower the better. And Omega has the highest in this category at 14.3, so investors are paying $14 for $1 of funds from operations. Omega is best in this category. Omega has higher than average price to earnings and price sales. They have the best price to book ratio of the companies. They're worse than the average in current ratio, ROE, and debt. They have the highest market cap, $9.8 billion. Let me know what you think of the video, leave a comment, I'll be sure to answer. Thanks for watching.